This is Rob with SaveNet AT, and today we're integrating our Luna SA HSM for Government with Venify Trust Protection Platform. As with most of our HSM integrations, you'll want to already have your HSM configured and the client set up. You can check our other videos and guides online for information on this. Here we're running the VTL Verify command just to show that the connection is established and that the client can talk to the Luna SA HSM. Now that we have the client configured and set up, we can launch the web browser and point to the Venify Trust Protection Platform. For this integration, we'll be using the Venify Trust Protection Platform version 18.4. Now we can open the Configuration Console for Venify. And on the right-hand side, we see the option Create HSM Connector. To make any changes, we'll need to log in as the administrator. Here we'll give it a name for the HSM connector. I'm using SafeNet AT HSM. For the Cryptoki DLL path, we'll need to point to the DLL that's installed with the Luna client. This is usually under C Program Files SafeNet Luna Client. We'll leave the slot at zero, user type as Crypto Officer, and then we put in the password for the partition. Once we click Verify, we can see the keys that exist on the HSM, if there are any valid keys. Otherwise, we can create a new key, clicking New Key. And then we enter a name. Here I'm using Venify Encryption. And it'll be an AES-256 key. Now that key is listed, we can select that key and choose Create. This creates the HSM connector in the Configuration Console. Here, by default, we'll see that it's set for data encryption only. At this point, the Venify database will be encrypted using that key, and the services will not be able to run if the HSM is inaccessible. You'll see this if you restart the server and have the HSM offline. You will not be able to launch the Venify software. Now for even stronger use of the HSM, we can enable the Advanced Key Protect function. This is a separate licensed feature. You will need a license in order to enable this feature. Once enabled, you'll see that the connector is now being used for key generation as well as data encryption. We can restart the server to see these take effect. Now if we log back in to TPP, and click on Manage and Encryption, we can set the default key generation to our HSM connector. Now that we have the HSM connector enabled, we can log in to the TPP web page. And under Policy, we can set Key Generation. If we click on Policy and then Certificate, we can scroll down to Other Information. And then for Key Generation, we can set that to use the HSM connector that we've created. This will use the key from the HSM connector when we create certificates. For example, here under our Microsoft CA policy, we can select using the HSM. And then we can create a new certificate using this policy. If 
For example, here we can create a new policy for certificate requests. And on the Certificate tab for this new policy, we can specify the HSM. Now we can create a new certificate request. We enter a name for the certificate. We give it a common name, a URL. Here I'm just using test.com. For a real certificate, we'd be filling in other fields, but for this test, I'm going to skip that. And then we create the certificate. And this completes the integration with Venify using our Luna SA HSM for Government. We hope this guide has been helpful, and please check out our other videos and guides online.